Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Mornings with Granny. I hope you're having a good day. I am still working on stuff for the craft show, but I'm winding down. I don't have too much more to go. And then I'll start working on Christmas gifts. So what we're doing today is the spicy chili mac. And this is out of the book. Gifts from Jars, Soup, Chili, and More. It doesn't call for that much, so you need a quart jar, some kidney beans, pinto beans, and you could even add white beans in there if you wanted to, and pasta. You can use, it calls for rotini, but I'm making a jar with the uh, just the elbows too, and you need a packet of chili seasoning, minced onion, dried minced onion, and some beef bouillon. It calls for red pepper flakes. It's only a quarter of a teaspoon, but I didn't put any in there because I don't have any. So I'm not putting it in there. I figured that the spice in the chili is probably enough when they cook it. You know, when you're my age, you don't really like too many spicy foods because I get reflux. And like my aunt, for example, she doesn't eat too many spicy foods. The younger kids, my grandsons and all, they can eat the spicier foods. So by leaving that little bit of cayenne, which I don't think is going to make that much difference in the taste, I'm going to leave it out, and if they want to add it, they can add it. So what we're going to do is get you where you can see my messy table where I'm working. Well, let me show you what I've, I've already done a couple. I did this one with the rainbow rotini. I put the kidney beans in, pinto beans in, doesn't matter which order. The spice packet is in the middle, and then I just finished filling it with the rotini. I didn't even measure it, I just poured it in there. And then this one has kidney beans, pinto beans, spice packet, elbow macaroni. So I thought that would be a little bit different. I mean, pasta's pasta, it's just the shape of it is this different, that's all. So, and to cook it, let me tell you how to cook it so I don't forget. I'll try to remember and put the recipe in the description box. Okay, it says to cook it, remove pasta and seasoning packet from jar. Take your beans out, look them, wash them, and then put them in a pot of water, four to five cups of water, bring to a boil, and it says you can let them sit for two minutes and then remove them from heat and let them soak covered for one hour if you don't want to keep cooking them. In that case, you would discard the water, put fresh water in then again. So if you do it that way, then it says combine the soaked beans, water, which is four to five cups again, um, tomatoes, ground beef, ground turkey, ground chicken, whatever you want. It's already been browned and drained. And uh, the contents of the seasoning packet, Bring it to a boil over high heat and simmer for one and a half hours. So it sounds good. I haven't tried it yet, but you know, it gets cooler weather. I like chili. I don't like it that often, but like January, February. And that's the idea of doing these jars is I figure after Christmas, people will start cooking this stuff. So let me get you where you can see. My table is a mess. I will, I'm glad I'm doing this craft show, but I'll be so glad when I get finished with it. Well, I can't get it to go. There it goes. I'll be so glad to finish with it because I've got stuff sitting everywhere and it's driving me nuts. All right. So it says for three quarters of a cup of, pin, of pinto and kidney beans. Like I said, you could add black beans in here, and if I had some, I would. But I put just a few more. I don't have many left in this pack, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. And then three quarter cup of pintos. Well, that's just about all of that bag, so I'm just gonna put the rest in there. It'll have a few more pintos. But that's okay. When I make chili, I like more pintos than I do kidney beans. All right. Now, I've just got these little sandwich bags. 
that I'm using to put my spices in. You could use a piece of saran wrap or whatever you want to use to put spices in. It doesn't matter. Now, it says use a packet of chili um, seasoning. I have a big container, so I just took out about two and a half tablespoons. That's what's supposed to be in one of those packets. And then two tablespoons of dried onions and two teaspoons of beef uh, broth powder, whatever brand you like, it doesn't matter. So whatever brand you want to use. And in this case, if you wanted to add cayenne pepper, you could. You're making it, so add whatever you want. Let's see if I can get this in here without spilling it. Let's do this. Let's do it this way. Seems to be the easiest way without spilling. Just make sure you got that bag over. All right, let's get this in here. Um, let's see. I was trying to keep my arm out of the way, but... I'm oh, dropping a couple of my onions, but that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, these, um, I think these food gifts are a good idea because after the holidays, we're kind of burnt out anyway. And this way, you've got everything ready except for um, browning your meat. Everything's in here. I mean, you got to add tomatoes, but you know what I mean. Okay, there's your seasoning packet. So I'm just going to twist this up, get this out of the way. And I'm just going to tie it with a piece of twine. You can put a twist tie on it, a ribbon, whatever you want. It doesn't matter. But all I'm going to do is just tie it like this. And then I'm going to cut the top off of it so we don't have that extra plastic in there. Someone asked how long these last. If you put them in bags, like the paper bags I did, or if you... Uh, don't seal the jars. They say they last about six months. Now, I am sealing my jars, so by sealing them, they la should last if the seal does not break for several years. But hopefully, people will be eating them and they won't be sitting around. All right. We got the beans. Like I said, you could add black beans if you wanted to. If you didn't want kidney beans, you could do it however you want to. It doesn't matter. Seasoning. And now we're going to add whichever pasta you want. And I'm just going to let me make sure I don't have any seasoning on this. This is a paper towel I was using to wipe my jars out. I always make sure everything's clean, guys. Okay. It's, it says one and a half cups of pasta, but we're just going to put it in there. When I went to buy the rotini, they didn't have just the plain, and I thought, well, the rainbow color would be pretty in there. All right. That's it, guys. That's all you do. That is it. Put a lid on it. And I've got the labels right here that I'm going to copy and tie on here and probably put a piece of fabric. But it's like I said, it's just bean seasoning and rotini. It's a very um, easy thing to make to give somebody, and it's very frugal. All they have to do is add meat, or they could add some more beans to it and do it meat-free. I mean, it's got beef broth in it, so it wouldn't be completely vegetarian, but if they didn't want to add ground beef or ground turkey or veal or whatever they had, they could just, or venison, they could uh, eat it just like that. So I think it's a good gift. And it should, I would think, makes, let's see. It says it makes eight to ten servings. So it depends if you got big eaters or not. If it makes that many. We've got a mess on the table. I have got company coming to eat Wednesday night. So I'm trying to get this stuff done and get it off my table. Because every time I get the table cleaned off, I turn around and put stuff back on it. But I'm winding down now. I've, I've got close to 100 items, and that's I was aiming between 60 and 80. So when I counted, time I finished this up, I should have right at 100. So hopefully they'll sell, and I hope you guys come out and see us. 
It is November the 9th from 10 to 3 um, in Lewisburg, North Carolina. Come out and see, they've got some fantastic artists out there doing all types of work. So come out and check it out if you're close by. You can come see me and Gizmo. Gizmo's been, I thought I had his allergy problem solved by taking his dry food away. But he's starting to get an ear infection again. And someone told me, let me get it, because I'll say the name wrong if I don't. Before we go to the vet, I'm seeing if this is going to work. This is to put on his food. This is yeast infection. I got it off of uh, Amazon. It says veterinarian recommended. All size and breeds of cats and dogs. And you just put according to their size, like Gizmo gets a, uh, uh, a dropper. No, half a dropper. Full. I gave him a half a dropper full this morning. So, he got that on his food. The adult dog, the bigger dog, Gizmo's only 12 pounds, so the bigger dogs, it's one complete dropper. But his is half. And it's got, it says it reduces inflammation, alleviates itching, combats infection, improves his coat and skin. And it has golden seal, marshmallow root, ginger, and apple cider vinegar in it. And a natural bacon flavor. <laughs> and then I got this to put in his ears because some of you guys had recommended it. And this came off of Amazon too. This is Zymox Plus. It's supposed to help in uh, yeast infections in the ears. It's supposed to relieve the itching due to minor irritation and inflammation. And you Put it in for seven days in a row. It says fill the ear canal up. Don't clean the ear. Fill it up. Massage it. And then just wipe out the excess. So I'm hoping this is going to work um, to relieve it. It's He's got it in both ears, but one ear is worse than the other one. So we're trying this before we go to the vet. This was, I think, $33. And this was, I want to say $20. So if this works, it's cheaper than paying the vet about $300. So I noticed yesterday after I gave him this, and I was surprised at how fast it made a difference. Because I noticed last night that he wasn't scratching as much, and he was sleeping sounder, if that makes sense. Because when he's itching like that, he wakes up during the night scratching, and I noticed he slept more. So I was surprised at how fast this made a difference. He's not scratching much this morning. I put this in his ears. We started this today. This, I'm sorry, this today. So I put this in his ears, so we're going to see. He's not scratching at him. It's supposed to have hydrocortisone in it to help relieve the itching. It says it's 1%. So anyway, we're trying that. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this going to work. All right, guys. I know some of you are probably hearing, tired of hearing about the craft show, but that is my life right now is trying to get this stuff ready for the craft show. So I'm not doing, like I'm not doing 10 or 12 jars of each thing. I'm just doing like four or five of bean soup. And well, we got three of the, um, uh, chili mac here and just a variety because you don't I haven't been before I don't know what people are looking for so I'm trying to do a variety and uh, I'll be better prepared for next year if I get to do it next year so but that's what we're doing today is the chili mac now I've just got to seal these jars and Slap a piece of fabric on there. I don't know what color yet. I've got some red and some green. I might put green on it. I don't know. I'll put a couple of pieces over it and let's see how it looks. 
But I, that's a, like I said, that's a, a good quick meal for some someone, a family. Be good on a cold winter's night with some cornbread or some crusty bread. That'd be very good. All right, guys, I'm gonna get off here. I hope you have a good day. Don't forget to give this thumbs up and subscribe. Bye-bye.